Greetings and salutations, I am Skojo in 360, packing up, heading for California tomorrow. So today, let's get right to it. We are going to talk about doing 360 virtual tours for businesses. My previous video was about vacation rentals and real estate and stuff like that. And there is a little bit different philosophy, but there are a few things that you have in common with them. Let's talk a little bit first about not scratching your lens. Now, the reason I say this is because I scratched my lens. I was doing a 360 virtual tour of a restaurant that was on a lake. And so, you know, you're looking out the window in the virtual tour and naturally maybe I should put a hot spot where you can go out and look at what's on the lake. Got it out there, put my selfie stick on a little base, like a smart guy, like a not so smart guy. I forgot to put any other weight on top of this. So now I've got a light, light, light 360 camera blowing in a slight breeze. And just as I got the last few seconds of the last shot of the last day, sucker fell right over $180, $108 and two weeks without the camera. Thankfully, I didn't have any paid gigs during those two weeks for 360. So, you know, no harm, no foul, kind of an idiot tax on my part. Now, if you're wondering what a virtual business tour is, it's a way to go inside a business look around, see what they have available, check out different parts of the store. And these things are hot, 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 caliente right now because businesses can put them up on Google Business. Uh, they can use it on their website. You can get an embed code on the software that I use. So I just tell people I have 360 cameras and they go, would you be willing to come in and do this? And for the most part, I've been doing it for, you know, fairly expensive while I grow my chops because I haven't really done a whole ton of them, but let's talk about some of the things you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. First, let's take you to the software. Now, veer.tv, not getting paid to say this, we can change that, uh, is where I go. Veer.tv, I've been using it for months and I don't have any complaints at this point. You get a free account. There's my page right here. As you can see, it's kind of like YouTube for 360 people. You get an account, you get in there, you can see all this uh, wonderful content in uh, gaming, uh, nature, sports, things like that. There's Ben Claremont, mate. Speaking of which, he's the guy who turned me on to this. So thank you, Ben. Really quick what it looks like. Let's go to a cannabis dispensary that I did up in Seattle. Smoke them if you got them. Uh, and they wanted a full 360 tour. So what did I give them? A full 360 tour. Now, you can add music to these. Yeah, let's go with the music. And this is, you can look around. Hey, look, there's Safeco Field in Seattle. And you can see cars going by because video is so much cooler than doing photos because things are moving like in real life. I like it. Let's go inside. I can look at the strain selection, kids. Look around, it's quite nice. Now, if you can see right there, you see that little strobing effect? That's from the HDR on the selection. So you gotta be careful when you're using HDR for these tours because the layers and the, uh, we won't get into it. It just makes the strobing effect. It looks kind of psychedelic, but not the kind of psychedelic that you're normally wanting in a place like this. So all in all, let's turn the music off now because I'm getting a headache. It's a great way to get a business represented to the people that want to come see it. So first things first, before you even go onto the property, talk to the people about what it is that they might want to feature. In the case of this particular tour, there wasn't a whole lot they wanted to cover. They just wanted to get a tour, but they wanted me to make sure that, as you can see, that they showed that they have ATMs because the federal government won't let them use normal cash transactions because they're evil cannabis consumers. So all they really wanted was the ATM. They wanted me to be able to get it back out to the street. And they have this little cannabis museum uh, that they want people to be able to take a look at, which is, you know, kind of fun. Go back in time when it was considered evil Mexican stuff. So you want to talk to these people in advance, find out what they might want to have featured because you can click on things. In fact, had I, they uh, wanted to have a great relationship with Safeco Field, maybe get a sponsorship, we could have actually put like a little link here or something like that. So you can click on it, maybe get some tickets to a Mariners game, all that fun stuff. So you've got what you want. Now you're going on, on site to film this. The number one thing that I learned right away was, well, one, don't use HDR on some lighting situations because of the fluctuating. Two, what was two? Two, you don't need to roll more than 30 seconds of video in each hotspot because a Google business only takes 30 seconds. And 30 seconds really is enough. When you're kind of scrolling around, it's not like you're gonna spend your entire day doing a virtual tour of a cannabis dispensary. Well, most of us. So only 30 seconds of video in each hotspot. 
Next, then you're gonna wanna go around to each place where you think you might want a hotspot and look around. Is there something over there that looks cool that you should link to on a hotspot? Is there something over there that looks cool that you should link to a hotspot? and grab as many of them as you can. Now keep in mind, every time you add a new hotspot, you not only add time where, where you're on site, which is money, and then it adds more time in building the tour, which is money. And the tour is the hardest part. The shooting is easy. Getting it in, processing it, a little bit harder. Let's get to that. In this particular location, I had one, two, three, four, five hotspots. That's not so bad. Businesses have fewer hotspots because they're not necessarily wanting to feature things like in real estate where you might want to show a hotspot that takes you to the local pub or the local strip club. Again, I didn't say that. With a business, it's more just kind of where they are, what's inside and all that fun stuff. So only five here, but each one of these scenes can be edited more closely. You can edit where you're going to go. In this particular case, see, I do replay scene. So that way it just loops over and over again until somebody decides to go to the next room. Uh, you can then fade to black once you do that, or not, depending. Now we're gonna go to, let's say, the museum scene. Same basic thing, I've got my replay scene, the name of it, which is museum, but let's take you to, ha ha! Now when I went in there, as I said, I scoped out hot spots. I thought it'd be good to get one that's right in front of the counter, one that's right in front of the strains, one that takes you back out. There's your little ATM, your welcome client. And then you gotta get people back outside so they can basically not feel like they're in a weird VR prison. But each one of these hotspots requires information, where it's going to go. In this particular case, I called it step up because it says step right up. You can pick which icon you want. In this case, I just wanted a little arrow, or excuse me, a little down arrow. It's right there. And then you have to label it, all this fun stuff. This is fairly self-explanatory, but you have to think about these things while you're processing them. But eventually they do turn into a nice little tour. Come on in. And again, what I love about this is when you see people, they're actually moving. It's video. Now, the big question that a lot of people ask me is, how much do you charge? Well, that's a tough one. In this particular case, I really didn't charge that much money because I wanted to get some experience. But a lot of people are starting to get $40, $50 an hour, which isn't half bad. Normal video production can run $100 to $200 an hour. But for now, 360 tours, they're not all that hard. The knowledge base is there. The software, Veer.tv, again, not getting paid, uh, is a great program that's Free. So if you've done this, leave your comments below about what you did, what you liked, what you didn't like. I had a guy from Iceland who chimed in and told me, hey, you know, get a doorstop. Genius! Love that idea because you're going to want to keep the doors open. You never know what's going to happen. So it's genius comments like that I want to see down below. I am Skiljo in 360. I'm out of here for now. I'm going to keep up with Monday through Friday or Monday and Friday releases. Probably one of them will be 360 related. The other one will be related to traditional videos. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Follow the drama as we head out to California. I am Skojo in 360.